fresh set of eyeballs on this. Good. That's what I need. Tell me, start from the beginning here. What would you change? You got your recording going? Yes. Okay. The first line in your offer should be this graphic, now you can stop your pains of no opt-ins and no customers. That should be at the top and maybe even bigger. Mm-hmm. Okay. That should be the very first thing to offer. Your banner that you have at the very top. Mm-hmm. Introducing Stickly Wiggly should be the last thing. Yes. Should be the bottom thing. Should be right down here above the buttons. Yes. Okay, so put your 30-day guarantee and then that banner. Make that banner between your guarantee and your buttons. So put the banner for Sticky Wiggly which between yeah, them. because it's even got an arrow on it, kind of. Right, between them. If you put that down at the bottom, it should be pointing straight to your buttons. To the buy buttons. Yeah. And then below the buy buttons, put the 30-day guarantee. No, put the 30-day guarantee first. And then the buy buttons. So we feel safe. Then the banner. Then the buttons. So let me let me re reiterate just for st simplicity. The banner goes below the calls to action. That banner has a arrow, like you said, and that arrow goes to... Pointing at the buy buttons, and then below the buy buttons is your 30-day guarantee. No, 30-day guarantee first. I'm sorry, 30-day guarantee below the sticky wiggly widget arrow. No. Okay. 30-day guarantee first so they feel safe before they even view the section about buying. I understand that, but sticky wiggly widget with an arrow pointing toward what? Well, you put that right after the 30-day guarantee. Okay, then the buy buttons. Okay, so. Day guarantee one, banner two, buy buttons three. Got it. The calls to action, the pain points. Let's go down to that again at the bottom. Okay, well, the pain points, uh, you don't really have them listed as points. You got to put them in bullet form, and they have to be way bigger, and there has to be a list of them. So, and anything positive, you put a check mark or like a green check mark next to. Anything negative, put a big red X next to it. You can get those graphics straight out of Google Images. Green check mark or uh, red X, and you'll find lots of free graphics to grab, or you can put a nice X or a check mark. Make the check marks and X's big, like as big as your thumbnail, or bigger, you know, like an inch and a half, two inches. Got it. And then make the, the, the points really, really big. Also, make it really simple for that section where, the, where you have bullet points like that. Have no other photos, images, or graphics around them, okay, so that they're really plain. And above them, you can put a fancy little banner that says, "Here's the awesome things you get," or whatever, and put your bullet points with check marks. And here's the things you don't want, or you, you're not getting with this offer or that you don't want to have in your life, and put the red X's for those. See all this part? Just sick and tired of not making money with your sites. Are you sick and tired? Now, text that you have centered mm -hmm. it doesn't look good centered people don't eyeballs are funny things if the eyeball sees something it doesn't like it doesn't it tells the brain not to read it rick right so what you got here is a format problem this centered text mm -hmm. you see how in the last line of each uh paragraph there yes it shouldn't be like that it should be off to the right it should be all right because, like, see, when you get down to this one, or the second last one here, it says, after three months of trial and error, blah, 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 blah. The end of that, the word sore, is all by itself. Yes. Right. And it's in the center instead of off to the left. Yes. It's just the kind of text formatting that turns the eyeballs off before the brain gets a chance to decide. We were so busy doing so many other things. We finally just handle it. It looked good. But it's this is a busy... Too busy. Yeah, you need to reorder it. The banners, you shouldn't say the me, even mention the name of the products introducing Stickly Wiggly until the end. Right. That's when, you're, when you go introducing your product name, you're introducing it as the, as the uh, cure for the problem that you laid out. Lay out your problem first. Mm-hmm. Make them scared of that problem. You stab them with the pain. Keep stabbing them with the pain. Rescue them with your product. See, you're throwing your product at them right away and then throwing some points at them, like pain points. 
Mm -hmm. Hit them with the pain points first, get them all worried and scared, and then tell them I have the solution. Sticky Wiggly. Sticky Wiggly shouldn't be mentioned until the bottom. I agree. But even then, don't forget, I already told you this a few times, the Warrior Forum is dying. <laughs> Well, again, this is a quality product. I kid you not. It's, it's not about the product or your presentation. You have beautiful graphics here. Beautiful graphics. They might be in a slight wrong order, and you need to rearrange them so that they look like they're in the right order. Well, why are they still buying the big dog? It's not your fault. It's a group effort. We all did it to ourselves. We marketed for so long in such a frantic manner.